Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a listening exercise and the subject is fire. So let us start. So the lesson plan, I will start with some vocabulary and you will learn three new words and expressions. Then I will give you the questions and then you will listen to the article. Okay, so you will listen to the article, which is about fire. And then you will answer the questions. And then I will give you the answers to the questions. Okay, so at the end, I will give you the answers to the questions. And then you will listen to the article one last time with the transcript on the screen. Okay? So let's start with the vocabulary. So the first word or words are safari park. Safari park. Now this is um, this is a photograph on the left. So a safari park is a park with wild animals and you visit the park from inside a car. Okay? So it is different from a zoo. Okay? In a zoo the animals are in cages and you visit the animals by walking. Well, in a safari park the animals they are not in cages. They are they have much more space. They are in enclosures which are separated by fences and you visit them inside the car. All right, that is the difference. Now, this is an expression to put out a fire. And this means to extinguish a fire or to stop a fire. So here is a photograph. And here we can say that the firefighters are putting out the fire. All right. So it's an expression to put out the fire. And the last word is yard. This is a unit of length. It is a measure of length or distance. And the conversion is one yard is equal to 0 0.9144 meters. Okay. And this unit of length is used in these countries. So Great Britain, the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and there are quite a few others as well. All right. It is a very old unit of length. Okay. So they don't really teach it in the schools anymore, but it still exists. Okay. So it is very important that you know this unit of length. And it is used often in sports. So when we talk about a distance in golf, football, American football or cricket, then very often the the length or the distance is um, defined in yards. And it is also used in, oh, sorry, on signs, road signs usually. And here is an example. So here the toilet is 40 yards away, 40 yards away. And YD, the letters YD, that is the abbreviation, which you can see here. Here it is in the plural, YDS. Okay, so you will, if you ever visit 
these countries, then you will see or hear the word yard a lot. All right, so it's very important. Okay, I am now going to give you the questions. So, question one. At first, why didn't Mrs. Clements realize there was a fire? Question two. What did she do when she saw the flames? And there are two things. Question three. Why was it dangerous to leave the car? Question four. Is this sentence true or false? Mrs. Clements was laughing during the fire. So the question is, is this sentence true or false? And question five, how many animals were harmed? Okay, how many animals were harmed? Okay, so those are the questions. I am now going to play you the article. So get ready, you are going to listen to the article. And I'm going to play it for you now. Last month, a car caught fire at a safari park in the county of Wiltshire in England. At the time, Mrs. Clements was in the car with her two young children. Mrs. Clements didn't realise the car was on fire because she thought that the smoke was steam. When she saw the flames, she sounded her horn and opened the car doors. The rangers ran towards them and told them to stay in the car because the lions were only a hundred yards away. A few moments later, a ranger arrived in a car and took the family to a safe place. Afterwards, Mrs. Clements said, I can laugh about it now as it's only a car and we're all safe. Mr. Lear, a witness, said, The lions just kept at their distance. Mr. Lear, a witness said, the lions just kept their distance and didn't take their eyes off the fire and smoke. Mr. Ashley, who worked at the park, said that the fire was put out quickly and no animals had been harmed. After the incident, the lions were removed from the enclosure and the park was closed. Okay, so... That is the end of the article. And I am now going to give you the chance to listen again. So if you need to listen again, then click here on the screen. Or just wait 10 seconds for the answers. Okay. Okay, so let's carry on and I will now show you the answers. So, question one. At first, why didn't Mrs. Clements realise there was a fire? Well, the answer is because she thought that the smoke was steam. Question two was, what did she do when she saw the flames? And there were two things. Well, the answer is, she sounded her horn and opened the car doors. Okay. Now, there is an expression here, sounded her horn. So, to sound the horn is an expression. It is an action in a car to make a noise or to make a sound. And I am now going to play the sound to show you. Okay, so I'm going to play the sound now to show you. Okay, so that is to sound the horn. I am sure you now understand. Question three, why was it dangerous to leave the car? 
And the answer is because the lions were only 100 yards away. Because the lions were only 100 yards away. Question 4. Is this sentence true or false? Mrs. Clements was laughing during the fire. Well, that was false. She laughed afterwards. Okay, she did not laugh during the fire, but she laughed about it afterwards. And question five, how many animals were harmed? And the answer is, no animals were harmed. Okay, so those are the answers to the questions. And I am now going to play you the article one last time with the transcript on the screen. So get ready. I'm going to play it for you now. Last month, a car caught fire at a safari park in the county of Wiltshire in England. At the time, Mrs. Clements was in the car with her two young children. Mrs. Clements didn't realise the car was on fire because she thought that the smoke was steam. When she saw the flames, she sounded her horn and opened the car doors. The rangers ran towards them and told them to stay in the car because the lions were only a hundred yards away. A few moments later, a ranger arrived in a car and took the family to a safe place. Afterwards, Mrs. Clements said, I can laugh about it now as it's only a car and we're all safe. Mr. Lear, a witness, said, the lions just kept their, their distance. Mr. Lear, a witness, said, the lions just kept their distance and didn't take their eyes off the fire and smoke. Mr. Ashley, who worked at the park, said that the fire was put out quickly and no animals had been harmed. After the incident, the lions were removed from the enclosure and the park was closed. Okay, so that is the end of the article, all right? And before we carry on, there is an expression here um, that I would like to explain to you. Okay, so caught fire. And as I said, it is an expression. If something catches fire, it means that a fire starts in that place. All right. Now, catch, the verb to catch, it is an irregular verb. And caught, this word caught, is the past simple form. Okay, so some examples are the house caught fire, the tree caught fire. Okay, so when a fire starts, we say something catches fire. All right, so that is the end of the lesson. If you would like to subscribe, then you can click here. Here is my Twitter account, Crown English, and here are two other videos. This one is a grammar lesson and this one is another listening lesson. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and for listening. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.